Cheers. Welcome back. Are you ready? Welcome back. Smile. Yeah. Does that oh, take you back? Does it that does. Sound? And you know what? It would be impolite. Why don't you get together with the audience and I'll take a picture of the both of you. <laughs> These are oh, great. Where's uh, the camera? Follow me. Okay, here we go. No. <laughs> okay. What camera? Just tell me. Thank you. And you know what? My camera doesn't work. Well, this is the problem. Are we at the end? First, I just bought this for my kids about a year and a hmm. half ago. But for generations, no, the Polaroid instant cameras, you can play with it. Yours you two year old <laughs> has captured memories and developed them right before our eyes. But news came this month that Polaroid is going to stop manufacturing the necessary film. So you'll be frustrated like Carol over here. That's because digital photography has become the new instant. But here's what Sunday's Carolyn Hugh has discovered. Just as some people still like their music on vinyl, others prefer their instant photographs the old-fashioned way. I guess my heart sort of sunk a little bit. Um, I fell in love with Polaroid film about 10 years ago. It will be very difficult, if not impossible, to put them back into production. So they'll be gone, you know, they'll, they'll have passed into history. Uh, I was just heartbroken. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Sort of like the end of a love affair, I guess. It's an end of a magical product. For more than a generation, this was magic, instant magic. But now, the magic of Polaroid instant photography is coming to an end. Hey! Beat the swinger, Polaroid swinger, beat the swinger, Polaroid swinger. The first Polaroid instant camera was introduced in 1948, an instant hit with a post-war generation transfixed by the latest gadgets. But Polaroids really went mass market in 1972 with the launch of the sleek and popular SX-70. Today, professional photographers still use Polaroid films, sometimes to test for exposure and sometimes for creative effect. I think I would write on its tombstone, innovation and vision in photography. Three years ago, Melanie Gordon started a small business called the Instant Photo Booth. She sets up at various events and takes instant photo portraits. She does something called a Polaroid transfer. She peels off the film and rolls it out onto watercolor paper while the image develops. Every time I make a print with a Polaroid, there's a little bit of magic in it and I get excited every single time. People love the sort of instant vintage quality of the prints that, that they get and they sit for the photograph and I do the print all in less than two minutes. And then they can take it home and it's like a little piece of art of themselves that they can have. It's a good part of my business as a photographer <laughs> and I may not be able to do that anymore. Usually when uh, there's, there's a uh, changeover from one to technology to another in photography, it takes a matter of 10 or 20 years. This one's happening in a matter of four or five years. It's, just, it's, it's happened too quickly. It's caught people off guard. Montreal photographer Evergon has been working with Polaroid film for more than 20 years. He was one of the first Canadian artists to use their special large-scale film. I think um, the Polaroid product was, was a decadent, lush uh, creature all on its own. If you wanted to drag your tongue across just because it was so wet looking. Over the 20 years of working with Polaroid, it really brought my career to prominence. It brought it to international recognition. Polaroid invited photographers to come and try new kinds of film and cameras. In exchange, the artist would donate a piece to the company's growing Polaroid collection. For Evergon, it was a thrill to be included with the likes of Ansel Adams, Andy Warhol, and David Hockney. One will just have to move on. But <clears throat> you'll never get this product again. 
you can't um, you can't reproduce it in in digital there's just the quality is absolutely not there it doesn't have those layerings of color it doesn't have the richness despite its unique look Polaroid instant film can't compete in a world of digital imaging the, the person that wants to make photographs of their family of their children's birthday parties of um, their brother-in-law's wedding, of their family vacations. Uh, digital is actually more effective because they can uh, work faster, easier, cheaper, and do more things. But not all Polaroid lovers are willing to attend its funeral. Sean Tuberty refuses to let go. It sounds kind of corny, but it's, it's almost like watching a memory form right in front of your eyes. I'm not a professional photographer, um, I'm actually a graphic designer. Polaroid film for me is it's just a hobby, taking Polaroid pictures. Um, I started taking them when I was a kid, but I love that it'll just come out right on the spot. He loves it so much that he started SavePolaroid.com, where he has an online petition to convince Polaroid to keep the format alive. The first day we put the website up, uh, there were about 40 people who came to it. Uh, the second day it was up, there was close to 2,000. People all over the world are kind of disturbed that Polaroid's not going to be making film anymore. This has prompted the online community to try to convince companies like Fuji and Ilford to produce the same varieties of instant film. There's a rainbow in December, instant color you'll remember. There were quite a few stories about uh, people who had kids or who were planning on having kids, and they would submit photos of themselves um, as children taken on Polaroid. They were really saddened that they couldn't continue to take Polaroids of their children so they could share them with them when they grow up. Um, I, was, I was just kind of touched by that. I, I, I feel that Polaroid was um, uh, in many ways comparable to a company like Apple today. It was incredibly innovative. Uh, the products that, uh, uh, that they created were um, really quite extraordinary in terms of their design, in terms of what they could do. So what's left for the lovers of Polaroid film? I think Polaroid is, is making a mistake. Maybe it's that they're not making enough money and that they think digital is the future. Um, I think digital is the future, but I think that doesn't mean it can't coexist with film. It's all about magic, and when you believe in magic, you can make any image. Um, I think I'm going to have a hard time making images without Polaroid. I think the legacy that Polaroid leaves is making photography accessible and fun for everyone, allowing people to become photographers that don't necessarily know anything about photography and allowing them to see this image appear out of nowhere. Show off. The so he takes a picture of the audience. Well, Very that's good. a sound of history, kind of. I bought that just for my kids for their bug book to take pictures of bugs. I'm going to miss these things. But just to be clear, Polaroid isn't shutting down as a company. It's moving to more deeply into digital photography, including a little printer that's the size of a deck of cards. Meanwhile, as you saw, people are already bidding on eBay for the dwindling supplies of Polaroid's instant film. And, of course, here's that picture, that Polaroid of Carol, that I'm sure on eBay <laughs> is going to go for millions. And, you know, I just want to say Stay, <laughs> millions, please. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands, maximum. <laughs> but, you know, for those of you who know Polaroid's, you probably knew that I was hitting the wrong button earlier, but it still doesn't work. It's this button on the side. I just wanted to be clear. Admit my mistake. CBC.ca slash Sunday. Send us your own Polaroid memories or upload your stuff. Please stay tuned. We've got these stories coming up.